Welcome back children. Today we can study about binary files. Last class we studied about text file. Text file contains a human readable format. Whatever the data but written into the file, it will be written in the same format itself. But in binary file, the content of the binary file is not in a human readable format. The content of the binary file is not in a human readable format. Now we can see how to create a binary file. To create a binary file, we have to use a module named pickle. The module named pickle is used in binary files. And inside the pickle module, there are two different methods are there. One is load and one is dump. Load is used to read the data from the binary file and dump is used to write the data into the binary file. In text file, we studied about the read function or read method. By using the read method, we are reading the content from a text file and by using the write method, we are writing the content into the binary, sorry, into the text file. But here the methods are load and dump. Load is used to read the content from the binary file and dump is used to write the content into the binary file. Both these methods are in the, are the methods of pickle module. So when you create a binary file, we have to import the module pickle into our program. Now we can see how to create a binary file. The first step we have to open the file. By using the open method we can open the file. And we have to use the file mode also. If you want to create a file you have to use the file mode as W. Here it is a binary file. So the mode will be WB. WB means that B represent it is a binary file. For text file, we will use the mode as W or R. For binary file, the mode is WB or RB. Like that you have to use the alphabet B along with the mode. That represents it is a binary file. Okay. Now we can create a binary file. Before then, before creating the binary file. So in binary file, data is written in the form of list, tuple or dictionary. We can use the sequence list, tuple or dictionary to write the data into the binary file. In text file, we are just writing only the strings. Text data or string data you are directly writing into the text file. But in binary file, by using a list or tuple or dictionary, you can write the uh, data into the binary file. Right? Now, we can create a binary file. See one question is written at there. Write a function to create a binary file using a list. So you have to use a list to create the binary file which consists of roll number, name and marks. So you have to accept roll number, name and marks from the user and form a list and that list you have to write into the binary file. Right? Now you can try out that program. First step, you have to import the module. Module import statement must be placed inside the main part of the program, not in the function. You have to place the module import inside the main part of the program. So here I am going to import it. Import pickle. Pickle is the module name. Import pickle as p, where p is the alternative name or temporary name for the module pickle. So wherever you want to use the module name pickle, you can use the name P. You can use the alternative name P. Right? Now we have to create a binary file. So for that I am going to use a user defined function. User defined function begin with the keyword def and the function name is create. First step, you have to open the file. So I am going to open the file. 
here the file name data data dot dat that is a file name i am going to give here and the file mode is wb because we are going to create the file and it is a binary file so you have to use the alphabet alphabet b also along with the file mode so here the file mode is wb w represent you are going to write into the file and b represent it is a binary file next i am going to declare a list this is an empty list you have to create the binary file by using any of the sequence here in the question it's mentioned that you have to use a list so i'm just declaring an empty list and the first step you have to accept the roll number name and mark that is given in the question create a binary file by accepting name roll number and mark of the student so here i am going to accept these things from the user yes so first roll number you have to convert that into integer next you have to input the name and the next step you have to accept the mark Yes. Now, three different variables: roll number, name, and mark. These three different variables, I am going to place it in the list. So, I am going to place these three different variables inside a list. So, I can write L equal to C L is capital L L is equal to in square bracket. Square bracket represent this a list, and the first element is roll number. So, I can write roll number, and the second element is name. next is mark yes so these are the three elements of the list l roll number name and mark right next step you have to write this record into or this data into the binary file so now the first thing you just accepted everything from the user which is placed in a list and next we are going to write this list into the binary file so write into the binary file means you have to use the method load load is the sorry you have to use the method dump dump is the method to write into the binary file uh, dump is the method of the module pickle so you can use the pickle name p instead of p you can use pickle also so here uh, instead of using the pickle name i am using p so you can use either p or pickle So alternative name is already created in my program as p, so I am going to use the same variable p. p dot dump. p dot dump. Dump is the method. So p dot dump of. You have to use the sequence name. Sequence name is l, and the next thing your object name, file object name is f. So that is the syntax. p dot. p is the module name. Dump, and you have to say the sequence name. Separate it with the uh comma and write down the uh, file object name that is all about the file creation next step you have to close the file so i am going to close that file that file is closed here by using the file object you can close that file next step so file creation is over next i am going to call the function this is the function name you just call the function right so just run your program you can see the output here create is not defined but is spelling yes i'll change it here and the roll number name and the mark so we are not expecting any output it just created a, a binary file named data.dat i can check it whether it is created or not data.dat yes data.dat
now you can see the content of the file which I created so this is the content of the binary file which I created I already told that the content of the binary file is not in a human readable format the file which you created you can see here this is the way when you open the file uh, you can see the content like this now that is all about file creation or binary file creation just go through the program once again is the content of the file is this one now next step I am going to read the content of that binary file I am going to create sorry I am going to read the content of the binary file which is created now either you can read the content by using the same program or by using another program you can read the content of the binary file I am going to open a new file see I am going to open a new file I am going to read the uh, content of the binary file we just created now by using a function so function is def read that is a function name that is a user defined function name the first step you have to import the module so import pickle as p so p is the alternative name I am going to read the content of the binary file which you created just now. Yes, the first step you have to open the file. Yes, it is open. File name is data.dat. And you have to read. Read means the mode is R. And it's a binary file. So you are using RB. R represent. You are, to, you are going to read the content of the file. And B represent. It's a binary file. Now you can read the content of the binary file by using the method load. Load is the method to read the content of the binary file. So I can write the pickle name. Load is the method of method of the pickle. So you have to use the pickle name. Pickle name is P. It's small letter P. P dot load of. Yes, the object name, file object name is F. And whatever you read from the file. You can store inside a variable. Here it is R is equal to P dot load of F. P is the pickle name. Load is the method of pickle. And F is the file object. So whatever written in the binary file, it's read and stored inside the variable R. Next, I'm going to print that content. Print R. You can close the file. F dot close. So that is, all, that is all about reading the content from a binary file. Now you just return only one record into the binary file and the same file you are going to read it back. Now I am going to call the method read. Just run this program you can see the output. Yes that is displayed back here. This is the data which you input 12, mini and 65, 67 and the same data returned back. So whatever you read in the binary file in the form of a list, the same thing is read back and displayed in the form of a list itself. So this is the way you can create a binary file and you, have to, you can read the content of the binary file. This is a creation part and here you are reading the same content back. This creation reading content can be written in the previous program itself. See here, I am just using a for loop to extract the content from the list. That also you can try you can try out here in the Python screen. This is a creation program. And this is the yes, here when you when I run this program, you saw that R is a list. The content of that list, what what is displayed is in the form of a list. So from the list you can display, extract the individual elements by using the for loop. So I am going to use for t in r, for t in r. You are extracting the content of the list one by one and just printing that value. Print it's t and you can just give a space over here. So instead of displaying it as a list, from the list you are extracting and you are just displaying the content. Run the program and see the answer. 
So instead of displaying it as a list, it's just displaying in the form of an individual element. So that is all about that program. Try out this program and after that copy down in your notebook. See that import statement you can write on the main part of the program. So you are not inside the function. It can be written on the top or it can be written after the function definition also. This is a part of the main program. Okay. Thank you. Thank you children.